Welcome back to Ready, Set, Sold. I'm your host, Brian Vogt. And we've been talking about it all show, but I'm going to probably put a little more emphasis on it in this segment here, and that is the market. We've been seeing some amazing, amazing things in our market just beginning in January 1st. Things such as houses selling, we listed the house, and in nine hours, we got an offer, accepted offer, full price offer. Another house that actually hadn't even hit the market, and it got a full price offer. Houses being on the market one day, and yes, bears repeating, getting a full price offer. Now, with everything, there's always going to be some exceptions. But again, when the market is moving up the way this is going, and the spring market is gearing up, basically, those exceptions get a little bit less as far as what your pricing is going to be. But still, your chances now more than ever of getting top dollar and a fast sale have literally never been as good at least the last three years, but personally, I think it's even longer than that. Well, we've had this type of success. Many people, if you follow sometimes the news, even here in the East Coast, the West Coast, for, for, for some time now, and I can tell you, we just haven't had that type of success until now. I will tell you that I am so bullish on the spring market. We are definitely contacting people that maybe had another agent, and it did not work out maybe last year, just even a few months ago. Maybe they didn't have their – maybe they, they expired, meaning is their contract run out for the listing agreement in November or even October. And a lot of those people we're finding that we talk to are just a little nervous. They were told one thing through various things. Maybe the agent said a lot of things that maybe weren't true. Maybe they didn't do the things they wanted to. It happens, unfortunately. We have all kinds of plans and programs that, that, that can't take that away. But having said that, still, it's important to, to give another shot. We have just seen numbers... Numbers such as of, of seeing inventory down to record lows in Belleville, Swansea, Edwardsville, Mascuda, things that we just haven't seen before. When I say record lows, I'm saying sometimes as low as 30% down from a, a year ago to date. This is, and I think most sellers know this and most buyers know this too, this is a supply and demand business, period. And supply and demand, when supply is low, demand rises. And that's where you want to be at when it's time to to sell your house. It doesn't mean if you're a buyer that there still isn't some deals coming up that you can't find the home that you're looking for. But again, as things move forward, if you're thinking about buying, same thing for you. You This is the time. You need to start getting pre-approved from New American Funding. We had Dave Hoey on to today, go with them, talk with them, get that lender, get someone in there that you know is going to take care of it, because as things move forward, as we're seeing the spring market, you want to be a part of that, and we're seeing more and more buyers coming out of the woods, too, that maybe, for whatever reasons, maybe credit, whatever the situation was, that weren't able to buy a home, are now doing everything they can to put themselves in a position to take advantage of this market, too. Because sellers are getting their asking price more times than not. Not saying every time, but if you price your house for your location, you would be amazed. You'd be amazed what people are getting. And this is February. Let me repeat this. This is February. It's very, very important to understand that. We haven't hit the spring market yet. And in the Metro East, if sellers probably already know this, has some effect on St. Louis, not as much. The military comes in March. So that's another layer of reasons of having your house on the market, ready to go by ideally no later than March 1st. And we're really pushing this. So the success that we're seeing is something that we just haven't, haven't seen. As they say, spring has sprung. If you're thinking about selling your home, this is the time to do it. Not just us in success, we're seeing agents, we're hearing agents all across the board 
having tremendous success. One of the things as agents and most most different businesses and groups of businesses have, and that is Facebook groups. And I cannot tell you how many times on Facebook posts that are geared for realtors that realtors are just almost begging, looking for houses, and not just starter homes. We're talking about high-end homes. We're talking in, in, in the Metro East, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars as many, and even higher. That people are trying to find, buyer, excuse me, agents are trying to find houses that are at least coming onto the market. So that's what we're talking about. Is is if you're thinking about it, if you've just maybe it's been three years, maybe you tried it three years ago, it didn't have success, or even two years ago, or even three months ago. Things are changing, like anything. We've talked about this many times. If you listen to the show at all, you hear me talking about three months. It doesn't mean that in three months' time that the market's going to go bad, but we don't know. We don't know exactly what's going to happen, but we know that in the spring market that we're going to have some success, that the sellers that, that pulled the trigger, that called us or called their uh, an experienced agent, are going to have success that they probably didn't think it was possible even six months ago, even three months ago for that matter. That's the type of success that we are talking about here. Of course, there's always going to be a few exceptions here and there. But again, those are usually the exceptions. If you have a house that you're looking to sell, bottom line is this. This is the time. And if you're waiting, I don't, I'm not quite sure why you're waiting. But you really, really, really need to get this done. Again, inventory is low. Supply and demand. Very simple analogy. If you have 100 buyers and you have 10 houses, that is going to raise prices. It's also going to speed up the process of buying a the house. They're going to move faster. Conversely, if you have 100 houses and 10 buyers, which was, seems like we've had for the last so many years, it's going to affect your pricing on the negative. It's really that simple, just breaking it down to as simple as I can of why we're seeing when we say 30% reduction in inventory. Those are huge numbers. Not everywhere, but again, in many areas of people are really looking for houses and they can't find them, plus the military coming in, which makes it even that much more important. If you have any doubt at all, though, I want to throw out to you the free book, Race That Sold, 12 Proven Steps to Get Your House Sold for Top Dollar and Fast Sale. Get the book today. Today. Just go to readysetsold.org, not.com, readysetsold.org, not.com. Get the book. We'll get it to the mail to you. Let's get moving. I'll be back with the tip of the week. You're listening to Brian Boat. Ready, set, sold. Talk soon. Talk soon. 